Hi, I'm Lily from Sharp Shots Photo Club and today we're going to be learning about photographing the rule of thirds. Did you see all those crazy lines? That's the rule of thirds. You want to make sure that you put your subject on the right or the left side of the screen or perhaps at the top or the bottom of the camera screen. You don't want to have them in the middle. So if you look here in this picture, we've got the subject on this side of the frame here and then you have lots of this negative space on the other side so we can see what they're looking at. So this is using the rule of thirds if you draw your knots and crosses. If you look here, do you see how the grass is at the very bottom of the picture? So again, we're using the bottom third of the frame to really show off our subject and then give a lot of negative space around it so we know exactly what we're supposed to look at in the picture itself. How about here with this flower? We push it all the way over onto the side. It's nice, lovely and sharp with its green square, but then we also have an idea of where it is. It's still on the tree or on the bush and we can see the background behind it, but it's still lovely and sharp. So the next thing I want you to do is find your favorite toy, set it up on a table in your room or in the kitchen, and I want you to put it on the left side of the frame. So then you have all the negative space in the rest of the picture showing off the room, but your toy is nice and sharply in focus, making sure that green square is on it and take the picture. After that, I want you to do is to run off into your garden and I want you to find um, a flower or a tree and get quite close to it, putting on the right side of your frame and then having all that negative space showing on the other side, so showing that we're in your garden. But the tree or the flower is nicely in focus. So just to give you a couple examples, a picture here, do you see how you can see the horizon here is really, really low? Well, instead of putting your picture right and left, you can also make sure that that horizon, where the um, ground meets the sky, is either the top or the bottom of the frame. So here the cloud looks really big and daunting and a very small amount of roof. Or the opposite. So you see we have a lot of steps and a lot of kind of ground and a very small amount of sky. So we're using the rule of thirds in a different way. Instead of right and left, we're using it up and down. So a very third small amount here and a large amount here. So just remember, the main thing is when you're taking photographs using the rule of thirds, don't put your subject in the center. Try putting them off on the right or the left or the top or the bottom. And that will really make your photographs pop and composition and look great. Thanks for tuning in. It'd be great if you could like and subscribe to our Sharp Shots Photo Club YouTube channel. And it'd be really great if you could also leave us a couple comments about what you think about our rule of thirds top tips. And we'd love to see the photographs that you take using the rule of thirds. So if you could tag us on Instagram, that'd be wonderful. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.